alternative data remains a big theme uh, in the investment industry for managers and investors and data vendors. What are the trends that you observe in the industry now? What's changing this year and what do you envision changing uh, in 2020? I think the biggest new developments are really seeing people one, you see new data coming to the market, which I think we've seen over a number of years, and new kinds of data. I think the other thing you're starting to see is people starting to broaden the use case that historically it's always been chasing after alpha and trying to find just better returns. And now you're starting to see people start thinking about more of how do we do things in risk? How do we do things in process that just improves overall? How do we think about things beyond traditional long short equity and traditional sort of quant equity? And how do we apply it to different things in, in a really kind of full featured kind of way? And I think that continued evolution continues to be really interesting because that's where there's a lot of new opportunity to do things that just haven't been done before and that's what keeps this interesting for you know people like you and me coming back <laughs> Certainly. and speaking of the opportunities there's like a common uh, perception that alternative data is mostly for like short-term one strategies yeah uh, do you agree with it like what kind of strategies do you think can benefit the most from alternative data I think almost anybody can benefit from alternative data I think it's really a question of just any time you've got more of an economic interest so you know if you think about somebody doing extremely high frequency trading it's hard to think about the kind of data that can inform that in a useful way at that kind of speed but if somebody's going to make an investment for long term um, across a huge range of time and they have very big investments it's very easy to think about a lot of data that could inform that process and help people run their businesses better and so really it's just a question in all of this of saying how do you how much do you care how much of an economic interest is there and what resources do you have available to make that happen and I think the interesting part about it is that historically we've seen the more sophisticated investors with more tools and more people and systems that can actually work with this now because of platforms like Quandle and others um, are bringing the ability for simple simpler processes to work with more complex data and as a result people that all throughout the value chain can actually start understanding how to work with this kind of information and bring real value to their business to their investment strategy to their private equity shop to their hedge fund to their long only to all of these stages without needing teams of 5 10 15 20 people and that's really the biggest change is being able to just fire up Excel work with a provider and bring down data if that's the way you want to work with it or work with the most sophisticated tools in Python or other ways yeah certainly and from the supply standpoint uh, for new vendors for new data sources and data owners maybe with exhaust data uh, do you think that um, um, being a data vendor is still a good business model or should they go through like intermediary like what's the challenge for the new data vendor? I think it's really a question of where people's data is I think if somebody has data that's really well formed and that's made for whatever reason for the financial services community and they understand how to deliver it and it's in a form that the financial services community can work with that's great you should you know if, if there are sales organizations you can partner with you can hire your own people those folks should absolutely do that but I think there's so many folks out there that have interesting information that don't necessarily know the form to put it into they don't understand exactly what the financial community wants and your choice then becomes do you hire a team of people to format the data to sell the data to deliver the data or should you partner with somebody like Quandle or others who again can help you do all those things so that you don't have to so that you can focus on your core business it's exactly the same question you know as a fund again as a fund do you want to bring in a team of data engineers a team of data scientists a team of all of these things to facilitate it or can you work with somebody who can solve all those problems for you so you can focus on your job of delivering returns that's the really interesting part of all this so right. Makes perfect sense. thank you so much my pleasure